Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So if you remember last week's video, it was a thrift with me video. So this week I am taking some of my thrifted finds and giving them a little facelift or a little refresh. These are all very simple little DIYs that you can do with a lot of things that you can find at the thrift store. Also, if you are not yet following me on Instagram, be sure to head on over there and give me a follow at Valerie Aguirre. I share lots of home inspo, DIYs, and behind the scenes. One of my favorite things about DIY projects is being able to style everything in the end and put everything together. So don't miss the end of this video. I'm gonna be sharing a little styling session with one of my favorite pieces that I DIY'd this week. So the first little DIY is very, very simple. I found this wooden bowl for a dollar and I'm just gonna take some sandpaper. This is 100 grit sandpaper and I'm just going to sand this bowl all over, inside and out and the bottom. So I am not planning on eating out of this bowl at all. This is more just for decorative. Um, I'm planning on using it as kind of a little jewelry holder or something that would go on a dresser, but I wanted to bring out that real natural wood. And this bowl had such pretty wood grain and so much texture. And the simple little DIY brings so much texture to our dresser and also doubles as a jewelry holder or a little catch-all. So it looks so cute. So the next DIY is this sphere shaped little vase thing. And I actually got this idea from my sister. She's at Well Worn Interiors on Instagram. So if you guys have been here, you've seen me do this before. I'm just going to cover this vase in mortar. And mortar just acts like a concrete and it's usually used to adhere tile. So I usually just put on a pair of gloves and it gets a little bit messy, so maybe put something down so you don't make a mess. And you definitely don't wanna put this like down your drain or anything. You can throw any excess or leftovers away in the trash. So I am just putting this on and really patting it on. I'm putting it on kind of thick and it does take a little while to dry. I think mine took about two to four hours and I had the little space heater on it that probably helped too. So after I did the whole like top half, then I went ahead and flipped it over and then did the bottom half. This is one of my favorite techniques to use with like pots and vases and those types of things because I love that old world style and that found look and I feel like this just really captures that. I have done a lot of different DIYs on my channel using this technique and other very similar techniques as well. So if you haven't caught those, be sure to check those out and I will link them down below. Another little tip when applying this mortar technique, you can take like a little Tupperware with some water and kind of smooth out um, any really rough patches or anything that's really coming up. It's totally up to you. So I am just taking the Rust-Oleum two times ultra cover paint and primer in flat black. And I'm just giving this a very, very light coat of black. I'm even not covering all of it on purpose because I do want a little bit of that gray to kind of shine through um, and give it just a little bit more dimension. After the coat of flat black is completely dry, I'm gonna go in with some matte clear and some dirt. Our dirt is a little bit wet because we've just had a lot of rain here, so it is a little bit wet and that's okay. And I'm just gonna rub this in really, really good and get this dirt in all of those little cracks and crevices really rub it in there. And then once everything is rubbed in, I am going to seal it with this clear coat. And I only did one coat of dirt and one coat of clear. So I didn't do a lot, I just did one and I think it turned out really nice. And while I was at Hobby Lobby, I picked up some of these dried florals and I believe this is the dried flax. And this is in like that greenish kind of mossy color. I thought it would look really pretty with the black. This was one of the little shots that I shared on Instagram. I had my coffee and my crafting and it was a good day. So I am just going to leave this guy right by my kitchen sink until he finds a permanent home. But for now, I think it looks so cute here. And this little sphere, 
found looking vase bowl thing is just the sweetest. I love it. Also, just a little reminder, I will link as much as I can for you guys in the description box below. So supplies that I use or things that I buy for all of these DIYs, I will link as much as I can for you in the description box. And for the next DIY, I found this basket at a Goodwill and they were asking $6.99, so it was such a good deal. However, the white was a little stark for me. It was cute, but it was a little bright for my taste, so I wanted to darken it up. I went in with some Payne's Gray, and that's some acrylic paint that I found at Hobby Lobby. So I just went over all of the white with a paintbrush in that Payne's Gray color. That color did pull a lot of kind of blue, so I went in with a little bit of brown afterwards to just kind of darken it and warm it up a little bit. And I feel like this um, brown color is really what kind of got rid of all of the white. It really darkened it up a lot. We found the perfect use for this. My boys are always taking out their train tracks and moving them around. And so instead of a big clear plastic tub, we can put this little basket and it travels around and it's cute and functional at the same time. So that is perfect in my book. So for the final and favorite DIY of them all, I found this pedestal bowl at a thrift store and they were asking $3 for it. Of course, I had to snag it. These are all the rage right now, the pedestal bowls. Um, so I grabbed it and had a vision for it right away. They have a lot of these online at places like CB2 and similar places, so I'll link those down below. But I went in with some Krylon Stone Fine Texture and I put this on the very bottom and the pedestal. I didn't wanna do this in the bowl part, but I just wanted to add some texture to the bottom. Then I went in with the chalk spray paint from Magnolia Home in the color yarn, and I love this color because it's not a stark white, it's kind of an like antiqued white, but it's not even antiqued, it's a very nice white. I let the stone texture dry it for a good 24 hours and then the spray paint for about another 24 hours. So I wanted to put that pedestal bowl on our dining table. However, I just felt like styling it really, really cute. It's the perfect little piece. So I had to just put something together to make it look really, really cute. I found this vase at Target. It's part of the Studio McGee line. You guys know how crazy I am about that line. This vase is $25 and it's so good. I will link that below. And then I went to my local florist and found some silver dollar eucalyptus. These plates are also from Target. These are from the Hearth and Hand Magnolia collection. And then I found these cute little linen. They're actually placemats um, for 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So they were really inexpensive, but I loved that linen texture and that fun little detail on the outside. So I'm just going to be folding these halfway and putting them right there on the plates and then adding another little stack of mini plates to the top. I also found these wooden spoons at Hobby Lobby also for 40% off, so they were really inexpensive as well, and they have the prettiest wood color. They look a little worn, so I just loved these. I'm putting these wooden spoons right on top of those plates, and I love how the wood and the linen together they just blend and add so much warmth and texture and there is our diy project the pedestal bowl is all dry and ready now i could have gone over this with a food grade seal but i didn't so we're using it more as a decorative so i did add a little um, linen in there and then i'm going to put some apples right up top and I could not be any happier with this little DIY. It is so perfect, and it was $3, you guys. I had the paint already. I am so happy. This is hands down one of my favorite finds. 
So I hope this video inspired you guys to try a new DIY or check out your thrift store and look for a fun little thrift flip. You never know what you can find out there. So let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite thrift flip and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.